Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, the place where we meet up and we talk about real life situations. On this week's episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, I wanted to talk about closure. And is closure a scam? I know normally the first thing that comes to mind when we think about the word closure is relationships, romantic relationships. But closure does not only relate to relationships. Closure can be in connection to a death or anything ending, whether it's a job, a friendship, a romantic relationship, moving, a lot of different things can be associated with closure. I've been seeing a lot of things online saying closure is a scam. And I just that's why I wanted to get into that this week and I wanted to talk about closure. And yeah, we're gonna get right into things. So I'm gonna get comfy. I want you guys to get comfy and then we're gonna get right into things. We're gonna get into this topic of is closure a scam. Closure refers to being at peace, having understanding, and accepting something that has ended in your life. <sighs> Where do I start? <laughs> because I used to be a closure girl, I'm not going to lie. I used to be a closure girl. And again, I'm just trying to see where to start here. So bear with me. I think it comes with a lot of mixed emotions or a lot of different thoughts and ideas when you speak about closure. Of course, as always, I'm going to ask you guys to comment down below at the end of the video and let me know your thoughts on closure. How do you deal with situations if you, got, if you haven't gotten any closure from it? And do you feel like closure is a scam? Because again, that's what I've been seeing on the internet lately. Closure is a scam. A lot of times, and I can say I can relate to this, or at least I related to this in the past, when friendships, relationships, jobs, or anything important to us end, we feel like we need closure in order to move forward and to heal from the situation. As I got older, and life gave me some experiences, I learned that it is up to you to find peace and to heal and to move forward with or without closure. Because no one owes you that, no one. I don't care if you do it for five minutes or five years, no one owes you anything. You owe it to yourself, again, it is your responsibility, you owe it to yourself to move forward and to heal and to move on that's it in my past in my other life <laughs> i feel like a lot of times i felt like i wanted closure because i wanted the person to see why they were moving how they were moving or even like previous jobs if my manager was acting weird i wanted to know why you know like why are you acting like this so I don't know if that's considered a form of closure, but I want to know why. Or oh, a prime example, right? And I'm gonna try to um, sum this up in the best way possible. I left a job, right? Or a job fired me. That's what we're gonna say fired me, right? And I wanted to know how could you fire me with the circumstances that was going on. I feel like I wasn't technically fired, but I was fired. Again, it's a long story that we're not gonna get into on today's episode, but. <laughs> I wanted closure at first because I wanted to know why you fired me. I wanted them to bring me back on a staff, of course, only to find out why y'all was trying to fire me. Which probably makes no sense, right? Because they did what they did and they mind was made up. So why are you going back for any questions or any closures when you're when you're better than that? You know what I mean? Like your life doesn't stop. Your life actually got better and you should just move on, right? That was one part of it. And I knew that. I I I fully aware you're in a good place you're in a good space you're much happier just move on but no for me i wanted closure and again it's because i felt like i needed that to move on which i really didn't right same thing goes for relationships you start acting weird 
Why you being weird to me? But no, you want to know like why are you being weird? I feel like I used to want to know why. That was a big thing for me. Why, why, why? Why? My aunt passed away. She was in the hospital. And I feel like I needed closure. I needed to know how did she end up in this state? Why weren't we contacted before? And how did it come to this? You know what I mean? So I felt like I needed closure because it didn't make sense to me. So maybe that too. Maybe if something doesn't make sense to you, you feel like you need closure from it. You know what I mean? If we have a conversation. I feel like after that, now in my life, I feel like after that, I don't need closure. Or I feel like we don't need to have a conversation because you know what you did. You did what you did. Stand on that. And you don't have to explain nothing to me. You know what I mean? Because at that point, you're going to only tell me what you want to tell me. And my only choice is to believe it or not. So instead of putting either one of us through that and wasting either one of our times, don't waste your time explaining. I don't have to waste my time looking for an explanation or expecting something from you. And then that's it. And like I said earlier, that's you deciding to have closure on your own and take it for what it is and move on. I also feel like every situation is different because if, of course, let's say you get cheated on, right? You don't really need closure because the closure is right there. The proof is right there. You was cheated on, you know? So clearly they had other intentions that didn't include you, right? But let's just say you stop talking to somebody. Then you might want to, you might want closure because you like, we was just good, you know? And that comes into play where you feel like you need closure. What I've also learned is that the best way to take control over the situation is to just take accountability for whatever situation you're dealing with. Again, whether it's the loss of a job, the loss of a partner, the loss of a friend, all you could do is take accountability, whether that's something, you know, that you can look within yourself and see what role you played, or maybe you can just sit here and say like, that person wasn't good for me and that's okay and I move on. I think that's a very healthy approach in the situation because again, if you try to look for answers and you try to find out why, 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 that's not gonna change the situation, you know what I mean? And again, everybody's way of thinking and everyone's personality and everybody's mind frame is very different. And some people have to have closure in order to help them cope. And it's bad because sometimes it can be a situation from, at times it can be a situation from years ago and that person still feels like they need closure. And until you find that closure on your own, or if that person that you need closure from is willing to speak to you, I feel like you're never going to be able to move on and live a healthier life. Again, I was that girl. You don't want to hate people. You don't want to hate your old job. You never know what could happen wherever you need to go back to, right? So, of course, you want to leave everything on good terms. And maybe that's the thing, too. Maybe that's why I used to want closure from situations because I never want to end things, leave places, leave people, or anything on bad terms because life is short. Nobody owe you nothing. Your life goes on. We're all human, right? Let me say this. The purpose of this video, again, is not to sit here and say that closure is a scam because I don't know if closure is a scam. I haven't had a recent situation where I had to deal with closure or getting closure or having closure, so I can't speak on the now, right? So I'm not going to sit here and say, yes, closure is a scam or no, closure isn't a scam and oh, you don't need closure. You need whatever you feel like you need, okay? Because again, we are all different individuals with different mindsets. So if you feel like you need closure, don't let nobody else tell you like, oh, you're stupid, you don't need closure, or this is obvious, or whatever you feel like you need, you seek that for you. But what I will say is if you don't get that from a person or from a place or thing, whatever, don't beg for it and don't feel like your healing journey stops if you don't get closure. Always, 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 and I can't stress this enough, always in every single situation do what's best for you i know a lot of us are considerate and we try to meet people halfway or we try to take the higher road whatever always put yourself first and again if you don't get what you're looking for from that person which is closure what we're talking about right now seek it within yourself take accountability know that you're not in the wrong for everything you can say you shared a portion of whatever happened but just know that life goes on everyone makes their own decisions and just find closure within yourself to help you continue to heal and help you move on in your life because 
what I will tell you for sure is that person's life doesn't stop. That job doesn't stop. That friend you had, they don't stop going on with their life. Everybody keeps going. So you have to always, at the end of the day, keep going too. No matter how much you love the job, like the job, love the person, love the friend, your life doesn't stop if closure is not obtained. So just keep going, okay? I feel like that's the only way for you to keep going is to have that mindset that you do not need closure to move on. You can want it and you can seek it, but if it starts to feel like you're begging for it or it's not being reciprocated, that person is not trying to have conversation with you or that job is not trying to explain why they're letting you go or why they're not hiring you or something, just, just move on. There's always something better. And that's the end of this video because I don't want to get too deep. We could keep going. Because there's a lot to talk about with closure. We can keep going, but we're not going to do that. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Wind Down Wednesdays. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, please, please, please comment down below. I want to know your thoughts and your opinions on closure. And I want to know how do you feel about closure being a scam. I'll see you guys next week on another episode of Wind Down Wednesdays.